Hello and welcome to Something More. I'm your host, Jesse Green. I'm thrilled today for today's episode because not only am I interviewing a fellow revivalist, but a dear, dear friend. So will you welcome with me today, Miriam Evans. Welcome, Miriam. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Jesse, for having me. Oh, I'm so excited. You have a new book that just came out. Do you want to tell us really briefly about it? Yes, my book is called Glory Miracles, Creating Spaces for the Power of God to Flow. So I it's really fun. I cannot wait to read it. I know. Okay, so let's just talk about that because, you know, we've done a lot of events together. We've ministered in a lot of the same places. I know that you and your husband, Tommy, are so passionate about miracles, revival, the glory. So what are some things you've been seeing recently? Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of people come to Jesus, but specifically through the avenue of miracles, like the miraculous just breaking out in people's bodies. You know, we really believe in the operation of laying on of hands, Hebrews 6, foundational <laughs> teaching, but we're finding that people are being healed without anybody laying hands on okay, them. Wait. Let's yes. talk about that because yes. that is probably a big paradigm shift for a lot of people. So you're saying at your meetings, you and Tommy will be ministering and like what is happening? Yeah. So it'll be like anything from just preaching the gospel, right? Wow. And imagine that, right? Because <laughs> you and I both agree that the Holy Spirit always confirms the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. And that's what he does. We'll be preaching the gospel. We'll be talking about the Holy Spirit. And it's like when we give people permission to receive at any time in the service, that's it's like so the Holy cool. Spirit comes and he starts touching people himself. That's so cool. it's been incredible. Is there something, okay, so let's say you're doing an event and you start preaching, you're creating space for the Holy Spirit to move. Is there something that you're seeing that's an indicator to you where you're like, okay, wait, like we got to press into this or move in a certain direction because what God's doing? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like just really being able to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so some people will follow the Holy Spirit because they see. Right, right, Or right. some people may hear audibly. I'm a real feeler. So it's kind of like I can feel his heart yeah. behind an issue. And so a lot of times when I feel like the swelling of his compassion or I feel his heart for somebody, it's kind of like I know I need so to cool. care camp out and stay on whatever subject I may be talking about or something that he highlights might be a scripture. And so it's, it's being able to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, who is actually the one who opens up gates of glory, just the whole glory <laughs> realm, you know? That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. Have you been noticing, I guess in the last few years, like, is there an increase in the glory in your meetings? Absolutely, there really has been. And I know that there's different manifestations of that glory. Some of it is felt, the weighty, heavy presence of God, you know, the kabod. Some of it is shakina. Okay, wait, let's talk about that. Let's just yes. go into this, yeah. like it's a whole so glory lesson. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one, the weighty glory. So if someone's in a meeting, because, you yeah. know, sometimes... I think we can talk about these things from like a broad perspective and people might not even be realizing like in their home or in their car or at an event, they're experiencing the glory. So th what's this weighty glory that you're talking about? Can you kind of unpack that and then we'll go through all of it. Absolutely. So the weighty glory, the Bible talks about the kabod, and it's just the weighty manifest presence of God. It's the same so atmosphere cool. that's in heaven, but you know, through Jesus, we now have access to have the atmosphere of heaven invade earth. That's so cool. And so as we're giving him a space to land, a place to be, as we're hosting him, then we're finding that the atmosphere of heaven begins to invade meetings. Wow. And we're seeing that people wow. are actually testifying, yes, that they're being healed in body, but they're even feeling, some people have even explained it as, I feel this weighty feeling, but it, I don't feel bad. It doesn't feel wow. negative. It feels really positive. Like I feel the love of wow. God. I 
believe that some people, like you said, they feel it, but they may not really have the language for what right. they're feeling. Right. And so it's so true. I really believe that all the years, and you'll understand this, is being a mom and just cultivating the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit at home yeah. in the secret place. That's it's like true. now as we're doing it in public, as I am as a mother, same thing, recognizing that feeling, that weight of His glory in that. public spaces. It's like I've been able to learn how to really stop what I'm doing and really host that and be in that place and just really welcome him. And so we're finding so cool. a lot of that in the meetings happening. It's funny you say that because I feel like um, a lot of people don't realize that it doesn't just have to happen at a revival conference yeah. or at church, that they could be in their house and actually experience the glory, that Kabod glory. What would you say as a mom with young children and life in general, what are some really practical ways at home that you kind of host the glory in your house? Okay, so I actually have a story to illustrate this. Okay. So I remember one of the first times that this happened to me is I had, I have five children. So at the time I only had three and I had a newborn and I remember I was really busy like trying to put away laundry and finish my laundry in between feedings. So it's like, <laughs> man, you gotta get this done, right? And so I remember feeling like this tug from the Holy Spirit in my heart like, I love you, spend some time with me. And I remember, wow. I kind of just like, I felt it. Yeah, thank you, Lord, I'm still putting away the laundry. And I'll never forget where I was in the room. I knelt down and I started putting away the baby's clothes. And I just felt the presence, a weighty presence, almost like somebody came up behind me and gave me a hug. Wow. And I just felt the Holy Spirit say, hey, Jesus loves you so wow. much. And I remember I had a choice. Was I going to ignore that feeling and stick with my to-do list for the day? Or was I going to stop it and yield to his presence? Wow. And thank goodness I stopped. <laughs> I yielded to his presence. I had a really good cry and laughed in between and just had this whole experience with the glory of God. And so many times today when we're having larger revival meetings in public, he takes me back to that place. Wow. I never want to lose that feeling. I never want to ignore his wonderful presence that will come and just meet me at any time of the day. Yeah. And so I'm able to recognize that because he trained me in the secret place as a mom. Oh, that's with okay. Small kids. I feel like you have a secret there, and I actually want you to pray for our viewers that are watching that maybe have never experienced that weighty glory before. There's an anointing right now in the set for you at home to receive, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Something More. I'm your host, Jesse Green, and my guest today, Miriam Evans, is someone that creates atmospheres for the glory of God. And I'm not just talking about revival meetings, yes, revival meetings, but also putting away laundry and at her house. And I believe she has keys for every single one of us to host the glory of God. So Miriam, let's go back really quick to some of the meetings that you've had. So you've experienced the Kabod glory, which is that weighty, heavy glory. What are some other glory manifestations that you're seeing in your meetings? Yeah, we've been seeing miracles, which I believe is a major manifestation of the glory of the Lord. It's like I try to explain to people, there's not any sickness <laughs> in heaven. If we were to take a quick trip to heaven, there wouldn't be cancer, right. there wouldn't be pain, there wouldn't be death or disease. And so when we begin to operate in the atmosphere of glory and create a space for him to flow and land, so we good. find that the atmosphere of heaven begins to invade earth. Yeah, and so, so whatever's not allowed in heaven, it doesn't become allowed on earth. Yeah. Just like the Bible says, whatever's okay. forbidden. I feel like as you're sharing this, yeah. there's actually revelation that's being imparted right now to people where they're having this aha moment 
that maybe they've been tolerating some things in their life that are not tolerable in heaven. So I just don't want to miss this moment where people are like, oh, wait. So could you just pray for people watching? Maybe they're having sickness or depression or anxiety or suicidal thoughts. And you're saying that is not allowed in heaven. So will you pray for them right now? Absolutely. Through Jesus, friends, you now have access to the atmosphere of heaven. And there is no depression. There is no lack. There is no pain. There is no disease in heaven. So I just pray right now for those of you watching that the atmosphere of heaven would begin to invade your space wherever you are right now, that the power of the Holy Spirit would heal your body if you need healing, that depression and that pain, torment would leave you in the name of Jesus. Through Jesus, you have access to the atmosphere of heaven and you have access for the presence and the glory of God to begin to invade earth. So I just release that to you right now in the name of Jesus. I just speak, if you're in a sick bed, raise up out of your sick bed. If you're sick right now, we say be healed, be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I love it. I honestly, I feel like people all over are going to just share this and watch it and just write in comments, send in letters that they're experiencing wherever they are, the presence of God. And I just love that. I, I really believe you have this ability to increase faith and belief in God. And so, so you're seeing Kabod glory, you're seeing miracles. Is there anything else that you're experiencing? Yeah, we've actually been having a lot of manifestations of joy and laughter. <laughs> I'm okay, I have telling to say, you. I was in a meeting with you <laughs> and it was a joy party yeah. and it was, it was a little crazy, <laughs> but I, I have never really experienced anything like that. Yes. And your husband, Tommy was just kind of going on this thing of joy Absolutely. and you guys shifted the atmosphere. Can you explain to people like, what is a manifestation of joy like? Yes, the Bible says that righteousness, peace, and joy are found in the Holy Spirit. So good. And so when he shows up, we have to be okay with how he may influence our emotions. Absolutely. You know, God created our emotions. We're emotional people for a reason. And there's plenty of scriptures that reflect God's ability to release joy on people. And so we have so seen a manifestation of people having like spontaneous laughter. And I'm like you, <laughs> I wasn't really familiar with this, but my husband has great faith for that. And so, <laughs> you know, he'll be like, yeah, just the joy of the Lord. I just see God beginning to, to drop the joy of the Lord in the room. But what really impacted me are the testimonies that we've received. I remember there was this one woman in one of our meetings in and she probably laughed nonstop. And I'm talking that guttural <laughs> belly laughter yeah. that you can't make yourself do that for that yeah. long. And it was about 15 minutes. Which is a really long time for it's, guttural it's a long laughter. Time, especially yeah. like when we're preaching or when we're <laughs> flowing. But we knew by discernment of the Holy Spirit that God so was good. releasing breakthrough on her. And we have a core value of allowing the Holy Spirit an opportunity to encounter people. Okay. I want I want to talk about that. Yeah. I feel like that's a real key and secret to a revival in America. And I believe that in the next segment, I want to dive into that even further because, you know, I believe that there is a massive shift happening in the nation where revival, as you've been experiencing, is happening in lots of different places, these sprinklings. But ministers have an invitation to do something. And I just wonder if what you're saying right now is maybe a secret for revival in every church, in every city, in every place. And so just stay tuned because we're going to talk about how your church, your city, your school, your workplace can actually be a place for the glory to come.
Call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Miriam Evans' brand new book, Glory Miracles, Creating Atmospheres for the Power of God to Flow. Plus, receive her brand new and exclusive four-part audio CD teaching series, Mysteries of the Glory Revealed. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9870. You are going to learn keys on how to walk in the miraculous, keys on how to operate with the power of the Holy Spirit. You're also going to learn keys on how to open up the atmosphere of glory, which is the heavenly realm, where I believe can come and invade earth. Where we are headed, in our schools, our churches, our families, we will reach a point where we must walk in the supernatural. Many are in need of a miracle healing, deliverance, or a personal breakthrough. With Miriam's new book and exclusive audio CD series, you will become hungry for more of God and be activated and jump-started into a supernatural lifestyle as Miriam teaches you through personal examples from encounters with God to create atmospheres of glory that saturate your home, workplace, and school. Experience miracles that happen quickly, easily, and even accidentally. Understand the power of the testimony as the real testimony throughout this book will move you and bring you personal breakthrough in your life. If God can use a busy homeschool mom of five children to release His supernatural power, He can and wants to use you to do the same. Listen to Miriam's four CD audio series and receive the baptism of fire as Miriam prays for you. This fire of God also unlocks the gates of glory for your entire family. In addition, each CD has more prayers and activation so you can experience great greater and greater levels of God's glory everywhere you go. Call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Miriam Evans' transformative new book, Glory Miracles, Creating Atmospheres for the Power of God to Flow. Plus, receive her brand new and exclusive four-part audio CD teaching series, Mysteries of the Glory Revealed. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9870 or send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 2827. Please specify offer number 9870. Welcome back to Something More. I'm your host, Jesse Green. I want you to imagine this with me for a moment. Imagine you go to church or you go to work or you go to your school and the presence of God is hitting every single person you know. I believe that that is the glory that we're entering into. And I believe that Miriam has a secret key to unlocking that glory. So Miriam, you've said in your service, there's something that you guys do that's a core value for you and your husband. What, what is that? And what are you guys seeing as a fruit of that? We have a core value of giving people an opportunity to encounter the presence of God. So good. You know, some of my favorite things that I like to tell people is, listen, like <laughs> if you came to get a message, wonderful, but my message and my preaching cannot help you. It can't save <laughs> you. Only Jesus can. So, so we have to give him space and a place to land so that people can encounter his presence Yeah. because that's the only way that they're going to walk away transformed. I know that you have a similar background as myself, that it was encountering the presence of God right. that actually transformed our life. It was a complete game changer. And so as we give people that opportunity, we're seeing a real transformation wow. take place in wow. their life. So are you finding that um, churches you visit or places, um, even prayer meetings, right, where people are creating space, um, is there an increase of the glory that's happening in those areas? Yes, there definitely is. There's definitely a hunger that's been released, especially in our nation, wow. in many nations in the world. Yeah. But I believe that the hunger for the presence of God has definitely increased in the United States. And people are hungry and desperate for a real encounter with Jesus. So and good. they can't get that real encounter if we're not adjusting our clocks. Wow, that's so good. Adjusting our agendas that's to where so the Holy Spirit is the main person 
on display. <laughs> he's he's the agenda. He's so he's good. the one that we follow. The Holy Spirit is the agenda of this meeting. Absolutely. Today. <laughs> and you I know, a it. lot of times in the middle of it, I'll make bold decrees like that. I'm yeah. like, you have permission to be healed so before good. anybody prays for you. You have permission to encounter okay. God. Why don't you right yeah. now release some permission over every single person that's watching? And maybe right now you're watching and you're like, Miriam just spoke to my father-in-law. He just spoke, Miriam just right now just spoke to my coworker. Right now, wherever you are, you can actually share this and release this permission to them wherever they're watching from. All right, so go, go ahead and release some glory. Okay, <laughs> well you have permission right where you are to experience the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. Whether you need healing, whether you need joy in your life, whether you need to experience God for yourself, just allow the presence of the Holy Spirit to overwhelm you right now. Some of you may be watching right now and you just may be feeling tears of the baptism of love, just the love of the Father, just let it flow. Give yourself permission to feel the deep emotions that Jesus has for you. Some of you may start laughing. We've seen people laugh and laugh and they're delivered from depression. If that that's you. I just release the laughter and the joy of the Holy Spirit to come upon you. And some of you may be riddled with pain in your body. You have permission right now to experience the presence of God like never before. He doesn't want that pain for you. It was his idea to take it away on the cross. And so you have permission to encounter the glory of the Lord the presence of God that I believe is beginning to invade homes and to invade phones wherever and however you're watching right now. I believe the presence of the Holy Spirit is very, very evident in your life right now. That's so good. Uh, I can't wait to see the testimonies yes. that come in from people just stirring up faith for more that uh, it's called something more. And yes. I believe that we're releasing something more <laughs> and I, I love it. So Miriam, I just want to end with this because I believe that you're already seeing so much happening across the world, but what do you believe is coming in the days ahead? I really believe there's going to be a revival of glory coming. Wow. I believe we're beginning to see that now. It's funny, I've had a reoccurring dream for the past seven years of tsunami waves. Wow. And it took me a while to figure out what the interpretation of it was, but I really believe it is God preparing us for tsunami waves of glory that's going to come over our nation and the nations of the earth. Wow. You know, in the book of Habakkuk, you know, we're promised that, that the glory of the Lord's going to cover the earth as the water covers the seas. And I believe okay. that there's going to be such a revival of his glory where people are going to truly have a revelation wow. as well as an experience of what it is to see heaven invade earth. Wow. So how could someone, I guess, prepare and be ready and cultivate a place in their own lives to be ready to be a vessel of glory? I really believe a way to be ready is to host the Holy Spirit so in our own personal lives. He's our teacher. He's our counselor. Jesus said we needed him. Yeah. You know, he said he's just like him. And so I really believe in my experience, I've, I've seen, we've walked together through many things. Yeah. I've seen it in your life and many others that hosting the Holy Spirit, allowing him to speak to us, allowing the conviction. If there's, you know, he's the spirit of holiness. If things need to change, allowing the fire of God to come and burn away things so that stand in the way of his presence. But also that same fire begins to refine us. It begins <laughs> to pull all the good things out of us that yeah. God put in us in our mother's womb. So I really believe one of the ways that God is preparing us to carry the glory is to host his presence, wow. to make room for his presence and to give him permission to flow upon us and through us. I'd love for you to just end this by just praying for a fresh baptism of the Holy yeah. Spirit, because I think some people are watching and they're like, I think I'm hosting the presence. I don't really know. And I feel like it's like, you should know. Yeah. And so right. can you just pray for people to just know that they are hosting the presence of the Holy Spirit? 
Absolutely. If you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you now have access to the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that we need him, that we actually need him. He said in Acts 1, 8 to be witnesses. And when we receive Jesus, we'll be subdued with power. So I'm going to pray that for you right now in the name of Jesus. May you receive a fresh baptism and infilling of the Holy Spirit right now. And you just need to take it by faith and say, Holy Spirit, fill me, baptize me in your presence, baptize me in your fire. And I believe right now the power of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. Not only is he going to fill you with his spirit and with holiness, but he's going to come upon you with power so that you can be witnesses to the world around you that Jesus is alive. So I just release the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit right now to fill you wherever you are in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you're watching right now, just say with me, I receive, I believe, come Holy Spirit. And we cannot wait to see what God does in you and through you. Thanks for watching Something More. We'll see you next time.